Hi, this is Tanisha and you're watching Black Med. Today we're here to discuss prostate cancer, a disease that affects more African American men than you probably would understand. We're here with Dr. Leroy Jones and he's going to explain what prostate cancer is. How are you today? I'm doing great. So tell me, what is urology? Urology is, uh, my practice is mostly male health. So urology is the urinary system, both men and females, so kidneys, bladder, prostate, and, and the sexual uh, function of organs, okay. so things that deal with that, kind of like the, the, the plumber of the body. So that makes speak. sense. Yeah, okay. Yeah. How does urology correlate with prostate cancer? Well, urologists, I mean, urologists are primarily taking care of men. I mean, certainly some take care of females, but uh, we're responsible for evaluation of the prostate and prostate cancer and making a diagnosis. Prostate cancer is something that's very, very common. So it happens in about one out of seven males in the U.S., and it's more common in African-American males for a variety of reasons, which we can kind of get into. And there's still about 30,000 men in the U.S. that die from prostate cancer every year. So it's, it's the real deal. That's pretty high. Yeah, that's it's pretty high. high. I'm sure some of our viewers don't really understand how this disease would affect them or someone that they love. Sure. Can you tell us about that? Well, the thing about prostate cancer is, you know, we, we generally recommend screening in, in high-risk patient populations. So certainly the African-American male, there's a positive family history. And so African-American male with a positive family history is going to be at a higher chance of getting prostate cancer. So we recommend seeing the patients beginning, you know, age 40, age 45. And there's a simple blood test that we do that will measure um, what's called the PSA, prostate-specific antigen. And so there's a range where that blood sh test should be. And um, in addition to that, we feel or examine the prostate. Okay. So that's the way that we evaluate patients for prostate cancer. And generally that's done you know, yearly, once a year. Um, and that's something that we recommend. We sort of continue until the patient, you know, maybe is, if there's no cancer and they make it to 80th or so, then, then maybe we'll stop screening. Okay. Okay. How do we get our viewers to understand um, how to get connected with the urologist so he can get that screening? Sure. And how, do, how does he overcome that fear? Because in our community, there's some fear around Absolutely. getting these exams. Well, I mean... There's not a guy that I've met that likes to go to the doctor. I mean, uh, and I don't like to go, but I know that I have to go. Uh, it's certainly something I think that's very important. And most guys, I mean, if there's a, a woman in their life, that's who forces them to go to the, uh, to the doctor. Um, but it's quite easy. I mean, you know, I think it's all about preventative maintenance. Um, seeing a urologist isn't going to prevent you from getting prostate cancer, but if we find out about it early, then there's a greater chance for cure. Okay. And so, you know, the message to patients is, is that you might as well come in and be seen um, because if you have it, you want to know about it sooner as opposed to later. And it's just like going in and, you know, preventative maintenance, getting your car, getting the oil done or what have you, and to prevent long-term problems down the line. So either through your primary care physician, you know, they can set up that referral to a urologist or many patients can seek us out on their own directly. Okay. So you describe the process to be pretty simple. So um, our community is, is astute, and they come in, they set their appointment, they come in, they're mm -hmm. following through, they find out they have prostate cancer. What are their next steps? Well, all prostate cancer isn't created equal, and so, you know, maybe let's sort of talk about the prostate, you know, what is a prostate, where is a prostate. The prostate is a gland, and so the gland sits between the bladder and the urethra. The urethra is a urine channel, and so on this little diagram that we see down here, that's the bladder. The bladder stores the urine, and the urine channel runs right through the center of the prostate and then out through the, the penis, and so the prostate sits in the middle. The prostate is a gland, and it provides uh, some fluid um, to nourish uh, the sperm, uh, the semen that, that comes out. There's also some other antibacterial um, components that will prevent bladder infections and, and uh, things like that. And so patients basically, you know, if they come in, if we find that the prostate feels abnormal when we check it, or if this blood test is too high, the next step is to do a prostate biopsy. And that's something that's done in the office. It's under local 
Um, obviously, it's a little bit uncomfortable, but patients do very, very well with it. They can drive themselves home. They don't have to have anybody uh, drive themselves uh, home from it. And it's a, it's a fairly quick procedure. All prostate cancer is not created equal, and I think that that's important to understand. So there's different types of prostate cancer, and it all depends on what the biopsy shows. And so some prostate cancer is more aggressive than others. Some prostate cancer, if the patient doesn't have a lot of it or if it's a certain type, we may watch them. And that's the treatment. And so the patient comes in and we just follow them closely over time. Um, if we do recommend treatment, um, the standard treatments are either surgical removal of the prostate or radiation. And things that come into to play to kind of making that decision, the age of the patient, the health of the patient. So, you know, we're going to look at a 50-year-old guy different than maybe a 75-year-old guy. Right. And, you know, a lot of it depends on what the life expectancy uh, is of the patient, how healthy they are overall, you know, do they have other problems, heart problems, diabetes, what have you, and, and uh, so all these factors kind of come into play. So it's all individualized, you know, patients always ask or they'll say, you know, hey, Dr. Jones, my friend had prostate cancer and this is what he had, and that's great for him, but they're not, you know, exactly the same as their mm -hmm. friend. Mm -hmm. So they may have different problems, health problems, they may have a different type of prostate cancer as far as aggressiveness. So it's all individualized, and so then that's where the patient sits down and, and kind of comes to a, uh, an agreement with their urologist. I mean, the urologist will make a recommendation, but the patient, you know, ultimately has the, uh, I think, the, the final say. And um, there's just so much information out there, I think, where patients can educate themselves. Certainly patients are, they're more um, with a computer and, and everything. They, they come to the table, I think, with a better understanding. Uh, and better questions, mm -hmm. um, you know, about prostate cancer and, you know, what some of the treatment options are. Wow, that's great information. Is there anything that you think um, is just incredibly important for our viewers to understand about this disease? Well, I, I think, you know, it's just so common. I mean, if, you know, if you're 50, 60 years old, I mean, I'm sure you, you, you have to know somebody that has prostate cancer. And so that's just, it's so common. And so it's just important to come in. Again, I can't kind of overemphasize, but doing this preventative maintenance and going to get your blood tests and getting your exam and yeah, nobody likes to do it, but you go and you get it done. It's five minutes out of your life and then the year goes on and mm -hmm. you know, you do okay. And so it's just all about taking care of yourself, just like getting your blood pressure checked and getting your cholesterol checked and, and um, just, trying to just be aware about your body. Body is super complex mm -hmm. and there's a lot of moving parts and a lot of pieces and things like that. And really our job is just to, to optimize um, the patient and, and, um, and, you know, fortunately many people do well, but again, we help those when we find it early and so they can live a full life and be with their family and kids or what have you or whatever is important to them. Mm -hmm. And um, so I think that's, you know, the, the goal is to, for patients to understand that uh, we, as urologists and physicians, are, are really here to help and educate um, so they have a good understanding, so they're not so fearful of, of the, the process. This has been very informative and great education, and I'm sure you viewers have taken a lot from this interview. I tell you what, there are some men in my life I'm going to call as soon as I'm done today. This has been great. You've been watching Black Med. This is Tanisha, connecting you with resources to improve your health. Thank you, Dr. Jones. Thank you.